In this video, we are going to talk about acid gas package in Aspen houses. This will be our case. This will be the case that we are going to work in on houses. But before, we need to know some information. First, the pipeline specs. We are doing the acid gas removal because we have a pipeline specs or regulation, pipeline specs or specifications, which means you can't unfollow these guidelines because it might affect the process flow and the pipeline material okay for instance you can't have hydrogen sulfide concentration higher than so, so it must be less than the concentration for ppm or part this is part per million okay part per million okay so this is the concentration of h2s and we mentioned before that hydrogen sulfide can cause corrosion also it has a lot of environmental problem especially related to air pollution okay this is for hydrogen sulfide secondly we have carbon dioxide co2 we have also a regulation for carbon dioxide the concentration of carbon dioxide must be less than two mole percent um, this is because carbon dioxide has no heating value okay so the presence of carbon dioxide will reduce the heating value of our gas or our natural gas okay so in this uh, condition we need to do a sweetening okay let's go to Aspen Heises because we are going to talk now about the package normally in aspen houses if you are aspen houses user you will be familiar with this you add hydrocarbons for example uh, such as methane ethane um, you sometimes you can add c7 plus uh, as hypothetical component you can add water um, okay but in this case we are going to add h2s carbon dioxide and also we are going to add an amine because we are going to have a chemical treatment so we need an amine this is our chemical solvent so without amine we are not going to have any chemical reaction but the presence of amine will lead us to change the package normally we use banker benzene but in this case we are going to use a different acid gas package in aspen Heises, we have three acid packages or four okay but mainly we use three okay the acid package could be physical if you have a physical solvent okay it could be chemical if you are going to have a chemical solvent there is also another option which is liquid treating liquid treating and this is similar to the chemical this is somehow this subset of chemical liquid treating includes some or subset of the chemicals amine okay so liquid treating can be used in some cases with chemical solvent amines but not all of them all of them you can use only the chemical one okay also it's important to know that for the physical solvent okay Hysis it choose it automatically physical solvent okay in case of chemical solvent it gives you the option to choose between a chemical solvent or a liquid treating we will see this in a few minutes uh, on asthma houses but in case of physical solvent for instance if we enter the, your uh, component list include the hydrocarbon h2s and carbon dioxide and do you add a physical solvent physical solvent for example for the physical physical solvent we have a solvent famous solvent called DEPG okay this solvent stands for dimethyl ether of polyethylene glycol okay this is a physical solvent if you add it to the component list as been Heises will automatically it shows a physical solvent package for you okay so you will not choose your uh, your um, acid package okay now uh, let's go to Aspen Heises. This will be our acid gas case that we are going to work in. Again, 
during this exam you will be given something like this you are not going to create this uh, this case because if you take the Aspen uh, Hisis certified user you know that you already have created so you you will this is will be easy for you you have created something like this before when you are user so you don't have to create it now okay because it also doesn't have anything advanced in it this is just some material uh, streams a cooler heater a valve and this is a two distillation column okay a heat exchanger okay so this is a recycle this is a set so there is nothing advanced here so during the exam again they will give you this case and you will just open it okay now let's talk about the package when we open properties you will you will find that they have created a component list for you and the fluid package associated with it is called asset case double click to open the, the existing uh, component list or you can add your own list we are going to open the component list here and it will open this file we have here nitrogen hydrogen sulfide and the carbon dioxide these are inert gases that we or impurities that we need to remove this are our hydrocarbons from ethane to hexane this is water we again we are going to remove water or water vapor by um, dehydration and again you will be tested in uh, in dehydration during the Aspen expert um, user okay this is the amine that we are talking about we have added the amine which means we can't use pink or pencil we need to use acid gas package okay these components are okay we ha we mentioned before that we are going to have a chemical solvent which means we are going to have a chemical reaction so during the chemical reaction some components will will form so you also are going to add these components okay let's go to the fluid package here when we press the fluid package we should go to the area where we shown which fluid package are we using here again fluid package you have one created fluid package called acid gas when you choose it you'll find out you are working with acid gas chemical solvent okay Required component to be able to choose acid gas chemical solvent, the presence of amine component, this is our chemical solvent, you must have carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, and water. Okay, these are supported amine in this package. Okay, we mentioned before that the chemical and the liquid rating are almost the same, but in case of the chemical solvent, you are supported with more amine. If we go to the liquid rating, okay. Uh, we can't choose it so um, we are going to add another uh, package here this fluid package is just for illustration because we can't choose the liquid treating uh, one because we it doesn't support the amines that we choose okay so now we have it chosen a new one if we are going to choose uh, the liquid treating I, I think again we will have the same problem uh, no actually in this case it works okay for the acid liquid treating, you have the required component amine, carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, and water. These are the same as chemical solvent. But in this case, you don't have some supported amines. Again, like the chemical solvent one, you here you have another supported amines. Okay, this is less than what we are having with the chemical. Okay, so this is for the liquid treating, and for the chemical, you have more amines. So if we look at this is also a mine blend so you, you don't have to use one amine like monoethanol amine you can blend it with methyl diethanol amine for example and this is okay this one this, this will be the case that we are going to work in for the exam okay for the physic, physical solvent you need to have uh, some physical solvent like DEPG so if I choose here it's recommended for okay this is an error message that you um, need to understand. For Aspen Heises chemical solvent, you need to have an amine solvent. For acid gas, you can we can't choose it here because you need some physical solvent, when, which we didn't add to our component list, like uh, DEBG or, as we mentioned before, dimethyl ether or polyethylene glycol. For acid gas liquid treating, you need an amine solvent. Okay. 
here the, these sound the same but for the, again for chemical solvent it supported more um, amine blend okay so you have more amine blend here for chemical solvent again we don't use, need this one so right click and we can delete it and we are sure we are going to delete it okay so this is our um, fluid package for this case okay if we go to the simulation we will find this is our acid gas simulation now we are going to change some of the properties uh, okay uh, we can look for uh, for the sour gas here uh, when we open it we go to the composition and we will find out that we have concentration of uh, mole person of hydrogen sulfide and for uh, carbon dioxide this is four person and again we mentioned that we need two person for carbon dioxide so we need to remove um, half, uh, half of this amount okay so for carbon dioxide the pipeline guideline is two percent which is 0.02 but in this case we have double the amount so we need to do some acid gas removal for car for h 2 s our regulation is in ppm which is part per million but here this is in mole percent or the mole fraction we can't converge it, converge it during the exam or convert it so we will go to here this is our absorber double click and you will have this screen of it to know the concentration in bbm you go to the acid gas so you open the contactor go to the performance and then acid gas at the acid gas you will have the concentration of the sweet gas and the gas to conductor this is your sour gas okay you have here the composition in ppm and also here the composition in bbm for the sweet and the sour gas also for lean amine and rich amine so this is the area we can find the concentration of hydrogen sulfide in bbm